My next guest is a UFC veteran who will be making her Invicta FC debut coming up here July 21st. It is Heather Jo Clark joining me here on the program. Heather, how are you? I'm doing great, thanks. How are you doing? I'm doing very well. It's uh, good to talk to you, and uh, it's been a while since we've seen you in the cage. Of course, uh, you didn't fight at all in uh, 2017, and now you're coming back here to fight for Invicta. Uh, I think most people want to know, uh, what's the reason for the layoff? Well, it's kind of a long story, but um, the first story is that after my last fight with Alexa Grasso, um, I broke my my orbital in that fight. Um, as you, I don't know if you if you watched the fight. No, I, I, I remember that. I figured that was part of it. Yeah. Yeah, not being able to see um, it, it. So that actually took me to a doctor uh, to make to see if I needed surgery. Um, I had surgery on my left orbital the fight previous with after Carolina. Um, and so what I found out when they were looking at this eye, which by the way I was fine, did need surgery, but the, that doctor had told me that my plate that I had put in this eye was kind of in a precarious place. And that I could, I probably shouldn't fight anymore because of some added risk. Um, so I won't get into that. So I thought I was done. I thought my career was over and that I was going to have to, um, you know, stop fighting. So my nose had been broken, um, I don't know how many times in training and fights and over the years, and I never got it done. So I thought being my last fight, I would get my nose, um, you know, finally straightened and my septum fixed and so that took me out and while I was out um you know being super depressed about my career being over I saw uh three more doctors um two of which agreed with the first one and then one said you're fine so I got one guy to say you're okay and that was all I needed and again you know there's added risk involves involved in doing it but I I feel that it's it's worth the risk very cool. Uh, so how did this come together with you uh, fighting for Invicta? So in that year's time, um, I mean, I took off, you know, I, I probably went back a little too soon, had some bloody noses, found out that my nose wasn't quite ready. I was obviously looking for a promotion, reached out to Invicta, and they were, you know, really great right off, you know, making me an offer. So, uh, yeah, so that's where I'm at. That's great. And you got a tough opponent here in uh, Kimberly uh, Noves. Uh, she's got a 9-4 and four record. How do you feel like you match up against her here? You know, I, I think she's a really tough girl. I think we have uh, a lot of similar um, traits, you know, in terms of, like, the toughness. You know, her last fight in Invicta, she was getting beat up pretty bad, but she never stopped coming. You know, she's got tenacity. Um, I, I actually know... Um, one of her previous coaches is a Brazil, one of my old Brazilian coaches. And he told me, you know, expect a, a strong, very tough girl. So, um, I don't know, to me, every fight's tough and every fighter brings something to the table. And I feel like I just have to, you know, beat her at her strongest and, and take her best weapons and use them against her. The other big news that's happened between, uh, you know, last time we saw you fight now is that, uh, you know, you've moved to Colorado and you're training now at uh, Factory X. Uh, how did that all come together with just first the move and then getting to join a prestigious camp like Factory X? Well, uh, as, as you know, my, um, my coach passed away in December, Robert Fallis, and it kind of put me for a whirlwind. I had been living in L.A. because um, I couldn't train, you know, because of my nose. So I was like, what am I going to be doing in Vegas if I can't train? It's going to go crazy. So I went back to L.A. Uh, just kind of trying to work and do other things. Um, and I came up <clears throat> to Colorado for Christmas. Uh, my dad lives up here. My brother lives up here. So I came to visit them. And I actually reconnected with an old friend, that a teammate that I trained with at Jackson Winkle John's eight years ago. Um, and we started dating. So that kind of escalated quickly. And I was actually, before I even met him, I had gone uh, – to see Rose <clears throat> one day um, while I was here visiting Christmas. And I said, Hey, you know, I'm looking for a new gym. Um, and she, you know, opened arms and said, well, I think it's a great area. There's a lot of women in Colorado. Um, you know, exactly what you're looking for. So I made the move and I started looking for a gym. Um, I, I wasn't sure. I, I love working with Rose and Pat, um, but they kind of do their own thing. They're, you know, they don't, it's not like having the, a team necessarily like I'm right. used at, at Extreme Couture and Jackson Winks. Um, so I realized that I, I, you know, needed to find a team. Um, I like that. I just, that's kind of how I work best. So I actually talked to Trevor Whitman, 
um, who I had originally uh, talked to about, you know, hitting pads with and working with because I think he's a remarkable coach. And he said he wasn't taking on any coaches. So, hey, so, um, so he recommended me to Mark uh, Montoya, which is the factory ex coach. And, and so he made, you know, I went and I said, Hey Mark, I'd actually been there, uh, about a year ago. I, I worked for, I worked for guard lab. And so I did some mouth guards. And so I met the whole team. I met Mark. I really liked the facility. So I kind of knew a little bit. I knew, you know, I knew people. So it wasn't like I was walking into, um, a frightening place where I didn't know anyone, which was cool. And everyone just really welcomed me with open arms and it's been great. Yeah, and I know one of the people you trained with is uh, Brittany Camozzi, uh, formerly Brittany Boone. She just got married to uh, Brian Camozzi. Um, that, that's how I knew you were training there. So, you know, and then I saw that you had this fight coming up. So I kind of put two and two together. Um, along with Brittany, who are some of the other fighters you get to work with at Factory X? Uh, we have a girl named Selena. She's, uh, I think, got one fight or is about uh, about to turn pro or has one pro fight. Is this the girl who's fighting for LFA? I think I saw her. Yeah, she's really tough. She's really yeah. good. Yeah. Um, we have another a girl, an, an amateur, is a 35er. She fought for LFA as well, but as an amateur, her name's Carmen. She's really good, really kind of like awkward style, so it just comes at me with a little bit different, um, you know, thing. And then we have Mallory Martin. Uh, she's not really a part of Team Factory X, but she kind of trains everywhere in Colorado, so she'll come and spar on Fridays, and she's a, an excellent, excellent uh, fighter. And then, you know, like this Friday, I got Tisha Torres coming up uh, to train and, and spar. And she's got Cheyenne Vlismas from um, Invicta. She's coming up to train with, with her soul, my old ex, XC teammate. So, you know, it's just constantly bringing different girls. And then on Saturday, we're at Rose at 303 and a bunch of us girls are getting together. Again, Tisha, Rocky, um, and those girls getting together to, to work together. So it's really cool that... Um, on Rose, of course, like that we can all um, somehow, even we're all over kind of Colorado, we get together and really help each other. So. Yeah, it's any of the fighters I talk to in Colorado, that's all I hear is there's a lot of cross training going on. There's no egos. There's no like this team versus this team. They, they work together. It's very rare to hear that in MMA. Am I right? And then and I do train 10th Planet Boulder as well. Uh, my boyfriend, Connor Hewn, is, he's a black belt under Eddie Bravo. So he, he'll always be 10th Planet. And there's a girl there, um, uh, she's like, she's a purple belt and she's, she's, she's awesome. <laughs> she's, okay. she's, uh, the Drew is the, the head coach there and it's his gym and it's his girlfriend, Bobby, Bobbyana. And she's just, um, wow. It's like, I gotta be super sharp at all times. Or so it's great. Good stuff. Uh, what about the weight cut? When does that process start for you as far as uh, getting down to uh, 115? Um, it's already started, okay. you know? I'm, uh, I'm still heavier than I like. I'm always in my head about it. And then that, that dress holds water and stuff like that. I'm kind of going up and down and I'm like, okay, I'm getting older and I haven't cut weight in like a year and a half, you know, what's going on. And as soon as I just like, I talked to my, uh, my dietitian, Andy Galpin, um, and he's like, all right, Heather, well, what, what, how much do you want to be the day, uh, uh, you know, fight week Monday? And I'm like, like 125. He's like, all right, so you're talking about five pounds. You're stressing about five pounds in five weeks. Like what? <laughs> you know, people are like, so yeah, I'm, my weight's good. I, I don't walk around too heavy. Um, I, you know, I have a vegan plant-based lifestyle, so I eat pretty healthy. Very cool. How do you see this fight playing out on July 21st? Well, I don't know. I mean, I, I don't really have necessarily like, um, I don't want to have, so I haven't made a set kind of game plan. Whereas, uh, in the past, I feel like when I've done that, I kind of get real like focused and, and I don't really react. I really, I start thinking. And then when, when that thing, that game plan isn't working, I get really kind of frustrated. Um, in my previous fights, uh, I didn't really have a game plan. Like what was that Jackson Winkle Johns? It was always like, you're better than her here. You're better than her here. If you get the opportunity, you want to take it down. Great. You know, and it was kind of like, go in there and fight and be an artist. Um, so, you know, we're, we are working on certain skills that I think, uh, will go well against her skills that are, she's really good. But in terms of how it's going to play out, um, I'd love another knockout. <laughs> right. Yeah. Uh, I, I want to finish, you know, I haven't finished anyone in a while. So, um, 
that's really what I'm going to be working for. And I talked off the top, you know, about the layoff and the injuries and everything like that. Um, realistically, how much longer do you see yourself fighting? I know, uh, you know, you just sort of take it fight to fight, but is, do you have that kind of mapped out in your head? You know, when I was, I started this journey at 28, right? Right. 37. I don't like to say that, but uh, almost 38. So I, I didn't think, you know, 28 uh, that I'd still be fighting at, at, at 37, but I, you know, I didn't know what I'd be doing. Um, a couple of years ago, I, I, I met uh, Kathy Long again, who I'd known since I was really young. She's a kickboxer, uh, still fighting. I think she's like 54. She's still fighting. And I said, you know, I, I don't know. I probably have a couple of years left. She said, don't think of it that way. Just fight until you don't want to fight anymore. Um, you may be sooner and maybe later than you think. So I really just like, you know, kind of what you said at the beginning, just try to take it fight to fight, see how I feel, <clears throat> keep doing it as long as I love it and the body feels good. And um, yeah. So, you know, would I love to be an uh, Invicta champ? Yes. And then get back to the UFC? Yes. Um, we'll see. Excellent. I like that answer. Uh, last question for you here. Uh, what do you like doing on your downtime in Colorado? I know you're training a lot and you've got the, you know, the job and everything and, and you're trying to balance all that. Um, I, I know hiking's probably something that you guys do in Colorado, but are you watching any Netflix or, you know, anything like that? Yeah, we, uh, we tend to watch a lot of like Netflix or, um, HBO movies or whatever at night just to kind of wind down. Um, my boyfriend's always like, you want to watch, um, you know, Eddie Bravo's like, uh, mastering the system. I'm like, no, <laughs> want to like clear my head out. I, I need a break from MMA. MMA yeah. 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 Like he's just constantly wanting to, to learn and I have to kind of shut it off sometimes, you know, um, okay. just playing with my dogs and, uh, it's beautiful just being able to walk around. Like I live in Boulder and it's just green and, um, it's great. So going to the movies, uh, we went to the lake last weekend with the team and, um, it was really fun. So just I like to being, being outdoors. I do slack lining, so we'll just like take the dogs to the dog park, set up the slack line and put down a blanket and relax. So, yeah, just just kind of chilling. Good stuff. Well, this is going to be an awesome fight. It's coming up here July 21st live on UFC Fight Pass. It's Invicta FC 30. Uh, Heather, it was uh, great getting a chance to talk to you. Just remind people where they can get a hold of you on social media. And if you have any sponsors or shout outs, the floor is yours. Awesome. Um, social media is uh, around the board. It's Heather Joe Clark. Heather J.O. Clark, not J.O.E. Everyone always puts that E in there. Um, I have a pretty cool giveaway going on soon uh, with my sponsors. This uh, this really cool shirt I'm wearing is my new walkout shirt. Uh, nice. It's a kind of a memento to my coach. I'll show you the back. Okay. Uh, oh, look at that. Nice. So it uh, the link you can kind of find on my on my Instagram or go to Strict Nine. Uh, is the name of the company and they uh, they'll sell it so the giveaway that I'm gonna be doing is whoever purchases my shirt um, will be put into a drawing and I have about 10 sponsors on board right now giving away different things like a polar uh, heart rate monitor um, you know I'm gonna be uh, getting giving away a J Lou bag you know there's just there's tons of different things uh, egg, the egg weights I don't know if you've seen those egg weights yep. no I have yeah they're gonna be I'm gonna give uh, a set of those so Everyone that buys a shirt, true fan, is going to be entered into the drawing during fight week. I'll be, you know, picking names out of the hat and uh, and making those prizes. All proceeds to the shirt go to uh, my coach's family. Uh, so it's kind of a win-win situation. Helps him, his family out, um, gets my name out there. And, and just the, you know, having this, I don't know, memento out there so people can re remember him and, and his legacy. Um, so, yeah. And, and, and as far as sponsors, you know, you'll see them constantly on my page. Um, right. I know if I say any right now, I'll probably forget some, so I won't. <laughs> but stuff. thank you for your time. It's been, uh, it's great. This is my first interview for this fight. So nice. Thanks. Yeah.